In the following joke, we bring you two desperate ladies sitting in a bar looking for a male companion. These two desperate single ladies were sitting at a pub on a Friday evening, having a couple of margaritas. The bar was always very busy on a Friday night. Couples were laughing and very few single available. Men were visible. This two lady friends have even more margaritas to drown their sorrows. Suddenly, one of the desperate ladies locked eyes with a single man looking very sad, sitting at the bar. She nudged her friend and said, look at that hunk. Her friend said, he looks very sad, but we are only interested in him being single. So, one of the ladies said, there is only one way to find out. She stood up and walks over to the man. She asks the man, and why are you so lonely tonight? The sad man said that he just got out of jail after 20 years for poisoning his wife. The lady shouted to her friend, he's single. <laughs> In the next joke, we bring you alien technology on planet Earth, which no one understand. Would you like to hear an alien joke, many light years in the making? This highly advanced alien was reading an anti-gravity book. He just couldn't put it down. It was all about planets and stars, and there he learned about a planet called Earth, unfortunately not highly rated because it had only one star. As he needed some space, he anyway decided to visit it. But because of inflation, he just could not afford to go on this trip. He then decided to send the planet Earth, a clear sign of their alien existence. It must be so grand that no one must be able to understand it. Many light years later, and even though Earth has come along, they are still trying to figure out exactly how this alien technology works. But to be honest, they have had little success. This alien technology, which no Earthling can understand, is today called a woman. <laughs> now we will bring you every man's worst fear, or enemy for that matter, a nagging mother-in-law. This guy and his friend were having a couple of beers at their local pub. The one friend looks at the other and said, you are looking very down today, mate. What on earth can be so bad that you are in such a terrible state? The first guy said that he has a terrible day ahead of him since he and his mother-in-law had this huge argument and then she normally ignores him for a whole week without speaking a single word to him. The second guy said, but I don't understand. Is that not every man's dream to have his mother-in-law not talking with him for a week? You can now have a week of bliss without her constant nagging. You should be smiling for the next week and not sulking like this. The first guy replied, Yes, I agree. Only problem is that we had that argument a week ago, and today she starts again with her nagging. <laughs> now, in the next joke, we bring you a husband that makes it clear to his wife, who he thinks is the boss in his house. This man wanted to make sure that his wife understand that he is the boss in this house. Now you listen here, sweetheart. From now, things are going to change around here. I am the boss of this house. When I get home from work in the afternoon, I want a three-course meal. The house must be in pristine condition. My clothes must be packed neatly in my cupboard, ready for my next days. The TV remote is mine for the evening. Please finish watching your series in the day so that I can spend my evenings on more important things like watching the football. The wife, looking very calmly at her husband, asks, And who will be dressing you in the morning? You will, said the husband. The wife then said, I was trying to tell you that with that attitude, the funeral director will be dressing you in the morning. <laughs> in the next joke, this widower go to visit a medium to make contact with his departed wife. This guy was in a session with a medium. The air was filled with nervous anticipation as the medium went into her trance. Moments later, she declared, eyes fluttering open, I sense a spirit, a woman, strong-willed, with a voice that could curdle milk. The guy's heart skipped a beat, he then said, Sandy, that's my wife Sandy. She seems eager to communicate, are you ready, sir? The guy just stared, some sweat trickling down his temple. Sir, your wife is here on the other side. Don't you want to say something? The guy shifted uncomfortably and said, Not really. Why not? asked the medium. 
this is a rare opportunity. The guy leaned forward and whispered to the medium, if it's truly my wife, Sandy, then you only need to be quiet. Trust me, Sandy will do the talking for both of us. <laughs> now we will bring you an old favorite, little Johnny. This teacher was having Bible lessons in the class and were asking questions to all the kids. The only child she hasn't asked a question to yet was little Johnny. She knew that little Johnny was always a tough nut to crack, but eventually decided that he should also get a turn to answer a question. So, she asks, Johnny, if I give away everything I have to the poor people in need, will I be going to heaven? Little Johnny immediately said, no ma'am. Okay, Johnny, now tell me, if I do only good deeds and never do any sin, would I go to heaven? No, ma'am, Johnny replied immediately. The teacher is clearly not impressed with Johnny's response to her questions, then asks. So, what do I need to do then to go to heaven, Johnny? Little Johnny replied. If you want to go to heaven, ma'am, you first need to die. <laughs> now, we will bring you something different. These two cars are having a chat at an intersection. These two cars were standing at the intersection. The one is very clean, and the other one is very dirty. The one car said to the other, My driver is the worst, he never cleans me, and I look like a mess. The other car said, Well, that's easy to sort out. All you need to do is to puff out some gas, and he will take you to get it sorted. Think service center, plug in diagnostics, and obviously, they won't find anything wrong. Then they will give you a perfect wash. You will look like a new car. Then hopefully the bill is big enough that he never does it again. The dirty car thought for a moment and then said, I don't think that will work. Every morning when my driver climbs into me to go to work, he puffs out some gas. And no matter how hard she has tried before, his wife could never get that sorted. <laughs> In the next joke, we have three professionals having a discussion about which professions is the oldest. A bricklayer, a carpenter, and an electrician were having a chat about the importance of their professions. The bricklayer then suggested that his profession have been responsible for the building of the pyramids. We built the pyramids of Giza, strong and secured after all these centuries, and that is why we must be the oldest profession. Case closed. Well, said the carpenter, in that case, we carpenters must be the oldest profession, because a long time before there were pyramids, we build Noah's Ark. The electrician, listening to all this discussion, started to laugh. Oh, and why are you laughing? Surely the electrician started much later than our professions. Not so, said the electrician. Right in the beginning it was said, let there be light, we sparkies. We already had all the cables laid out. <laughs> Now we bring you a regular, a drunken guy at a pub. There was this drunken guy at this bar. He was so drunk that the barman decided it was time for him to leave. I think you had enough and should leave, the barman said. The guy left, but soon peered into the second door of the pub. Is this the prickly pear pub? The barman shouted. No, I told you to go home. The guy left again and soon looked through the third door of the pub. Is this the broken biscuit? The barman shouted, No, I told you to go home. A short while later, the guy was back at the pub's fourth door and asked, Is this the rocky landmine? The barman had enough and walks the guy outside for a private chat. Look, buddy, I have had enough. You are drunk, and I told you many times to go home. Don't come back here again. The guy looked through his intoxicated eyes and asked, do all these pubs have the same idiot as a manager? <laughs> now here is a new joke we are trying this week. Bit of animal discussions. These two cows are having a chat. These two cows were standing in the field, talking utter nonsense. I see the farmer is having a stakeout, the first cow said. What do you mean, asks the second cow. The first cow replied, He is having a look to see which one of us he can milk for all we are worth. Holy cow! said the second cow. Seems like the stakes are high. Should we run away and make milkshake? Then he might leave us alone for the day. We can do it together. At least we don't have a beef with one another. 
the first cow said, and where would we run to? We might just run away from the farmer, but then the bull might just spot us. The second cow said, you clearly underestimated me, sister. That bull cannot charge, I promise you that. And why not ask the first cow? Second cow responds, because I have his credit card. <laughs>